Let's take a real look at wine classification. We're going to start with the French system because that's pretty much what all the other systems are based on. The French system is interested in a very basic assumption, and that assumption is that wines from different places taste different. Wrapped up in this whole idea is an old French idea called terroir. Tour doesn't really have a translation in English. If it did, it would be something like placeness. It's basically a summary of all the that go into a place that make its wines particular and tastes a certain way. Why do wines from different places taste different? What a timely question. There are three contributing factors, the first of which has to do with climate in a warm environment. We tend to get more food in a wine, so let's go back to that banana from last time. In a warm environment will be more on the rich, sweet, ripe end of the banana. Whereas in a cool environment, will be more on the green end, so we'll have more top wines, less rich wines. Usually wines that are ripening in a cool environment have more acidity, whereas wines ripening in a warm environment tend to have more fruit. Next we have topography. And topography has mostly to do with sun exposure. So in other words, the the direction that the vineyard itself faces the sun in the northern hemisphere, the east facing vineyard sites would be cool morning sun. Whereas south facing sites would get warmer afternoon sun and west facing sites would end up with still warmer late afternoon sun. If it faces north, it's not going to get a whole lot of direct sun at all. So it's going to ripen a very cool way and it may not ripen at all. The next factor has to do with soil type. And there isn't a whole lot of science to explain how this works. But for some reason it seems to be the case that rockier soils give us wines that feel rockier, that feel a little bit tougher. Softer, richer soils like clay or loam tend to give us little, plus softer style wines. France's classification system is oriented around Appalachians. These are usually geographic. With specific rules, with regard to what kind of wine you can make, where they call this Appalachian control AC rules are enforced by a governing body called the INAO. The rules stay restrictions on things like geographical boundaries, grave variety, and then technical aspects like yield restrictions or pruning techniques. The AC system is a system that protects the typical products of a place. It isn't just for wine. In fact, it started with cheese, and that's because the particular kind of bacteria that makes broke for blue really only happens in one particular place. The same thing goes for wine. As I mentioned before, the French believe that wines from different places taste different and that you really can't make, say, Chalet or Champagne anywhere except for in Chalet in Champagne. So they created a legal framework to protect these things, and they make certain rules to make sure that anything that comes from those places stays true to the thing itself. French wines are classified according to Appalachians, or as they say, Appalachian control. The wines are labeled this way too. So as we see this wine from Burgundy in France is labeled Appalachian, Burgund, control. Bergen is just the French word for Burgundy. So gang, what did you learn today? So why wines from different places taste different? Well, that has to do with the French notion of terroir. You got like four different things when we're talking about terror. One. Oh yeah. You got topography. Two. Ah, sun exposure. Three. Soil type before you got your climate. Now France, their classification is kind of directly pointed at preserving all the stuff from different areas. Or they call it the AC, formerly the AOC. So that's how France does it. It's a little different.